All right, so quickly here, I just want to go over some stuff reporters said at practice. They noticed at practice during 7-on-7 seven seven and 11-on-11s. 11 and I'll go over some things, players, and Cliff Kingsbury because he had his conf press conference today too after practice. I want to go over what they kind of said during their pressers. Uh, starting with, shout out to Serge the Shooter because he tweeted, McCaffrey beats Anusum. If you guys don't know who Anusum is, one of our undrafted free agents we signed. Uh, after the draft, cornerback out of Colorado State, Chicken Newsome. He was a guy that, you know, we could watch this summer. Um, he could potentially make the 53-man roster. I feel like he has a solid chance of making it because he does have a lot of potential to him. Uh, but McCaffrey beat him early on and hauled on a 30-yard touchdown from Jeff Driscoll. And then next rep, um, Anthony Pittman picked off Marcus Mariota and took it to, a, to the house, which is kind of surprising, I'm not going to lie. But, um, you know, Anthony Pittman, he making some plays. Let's see if he'll make the roster. I feel like we'll only keep, like, four linebackers. Maybe a Bobby Wagner, obviously, Frankie Louvu, Jamin Davis, and then Jordan McGee. Maybe a fifth in Anthony Pittman with Cal Walker. But we'll shall see. I think we're going to keep five linebackers, as of now, at least. As of now, uh, Jaden Daniels, uh, reported by Jake Hernandez, said he went heavy ball. Well, wet heavy ball. And all is zipping darts during 7v7. So, yeah, Jaden Daniels, he just looks so accurate. Um, during, you know, OTA so far, rookie mini camp, he's just so very accurate. Uh, he has zip on the ball, quick release. I don't know if y'all saw that video between him and Drake May, but there was definitely a bit of a difference. I mean, Drake, I mean, Jaden Daniels, the ball just comes out so quickly, um, out of his hands. It's, it's, it's really amazing. It's amazing. So happy we have him as our quarterback. Sam Cosme, he addressed the media. He said that Jaden Daniels has wheels and the offense has plays built in to use that. So that's good. You know, Cliff Kingsbury, he's going to try and build this offense around Jaden Daniels, which I really love to hear. Jahan Dawson on Cliff Kingsbury, he said that he really plays to our strengths and tries to make it easy. So that's something that Eric Bianami did not do. He did not play to Terry McLaurin's, Brian Robinson's, uh, Cole Turner, uh, Jahan Dawson. He did not play to their strengths. And that's one thing Cliff Kingsbury is going to come in here and do, which is a really good thing because you try to fit, you know, your offense around your players, not fit your players in your offense, okay? You have to mold your offense around um, your players, and that's something Cliff Kingsbury will do here. Uh, Jahan Dotson, another thing he said is, Jaden Daniels, he was the quarterback he wanted, so no shade to everybody else, like Sam Howell, Drake May, but he's just basically saying that, you know, if we were going we to take a quarterback at two, which we did, he wanted Jaden Daniels, and we ultimately got Jaden Daniels, so he's super happy right there. Um, Dotson said he wasn't a fan of his 2023 season and has pushed himself hard this offseason to be better. He said, I just didn't feel like myself in 2023, so yeah, he didn't feel like himself, and he just didn't look like himself. I mean, he was really good in his rookie season, and he just fell off last season, and some of that goes on, you know, uh, Eric Bieniemy. but Jahan Dotson, he had a couple drops last year, I want to say like two, three, maybe even four. Um, he just didn't look like himself last year, and hopefully, you know, us bringing in Cliff Kingsbury, a new quarterback, and Jaden Daniels, they can help him elevate him and get back to his rookie season form on a higher level. Zach Ertz addressed the media as well. He said that he can tell Jaden Daniels is an extremely talented player and really cares. He's doing a lot behind the scenes to make sure he's ready. So obviously, you know, everybody on this roster, every player, speaking highly of Jaden Daniels, Luke McCaffrey did. Uh, back at working minicamp, Mikey Sandra still, Jahan Dotson, and now Zach Ertz. So it's really good to hear, you know, Jaden Daniels' teammates talking highly about him. And I'm just super excited to see him. Um, I don't know if um, I'll actually put, I put it in the video, but the pass to Terry McLaurin, I'm not going to lie, that got me a little hype. It does. I'm going to try to, you know, calm, um, calm down. But, you know, hey, man, I'm really excited to see Jaden Daniels to Terry McLaurin this fall. That's going to be an excellent connection to watch. Cliff Kingsbury, he's having his press conference right now. He said that Daniels works very hard, likes the constant improvement on tape in college, and shows that he's working hard to get better. So, yeah, he loves football. I mean, even on his uh, plane ride home back to LSU, I want to say, uh, he he literally was, like, studying plays, working on plays on the plane. So, hey, man, Jaden Daniels, he is a very hard worker. That's one of the things, you know, the um, Adam Peters, the coaching staff, 
everybody in the front office just loves about him, even including, you know, and fans. So that's just why we love Jaden Daniels, and that's why we drafted him. Uh, Cliff Kingsbury, he said he likes to do of Ryan Robinson and Eckler. I do too. I mean, B-Rob, he's going to be our thunder. Eckler, he's going to be a lightning. Although Eckler, you know, isn't maybe as fast as he used to be, he's still pretty fast and when healthy, he's a really freaking solid running back. And then one more uh, quote, Cliff Kingsbury, he said that he's focused on making this year one of the commanders and not year five of the Cardinals. So yeah, I mean, he had some good play calling season with the Cardinals. I mean, 2020 was good. 2021 was pretty solid as well. But then 2022 just wasn't great at all. And, you know, he want he doesn't want to build off what he did with the Cardinals because obviously it didn't end well. He wants to start something new here in Washington. He wants to build this offense around his players, around his quarterback and Jaden Daniels. So I really like that a whole lot. So that is about it from day one of OTAs. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe, turn on notifications. On the road to 4K subs if you could. Hit that sub button. I'd really appreciate it. And other than that, it's been King Sean and I'm out. Peace.